Carl Brown with Guitar Lessons 365.com. Continuing the Randy Rhodes Odyssey today. We're gonna to learn how to do No Bone Movies off the Tribute album, by the way. This is gonna be the Tribute album version. Um, I, as you guys probably know, if you follow my Randy Rhodes lessons, I like his, the Tribute album is, is like um, a gold mine for me. I just love it. I love the sound, I love the energy, I love the playing. Um, so we're gonna do the, that version of um, no bone movies. You know, this there's a slide solo and stuff on the original uh, track, and I'm not a big fan of slide guitar. So we're gonna play the solo he does on the live version, which isn't any slide. So that's got some really cool stuff in it, though. All right. So before I get into the note, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Ring the notification bell so you know when we do any new videos, or um, you can like and comment on them. Watch the video. That really helps. Uh, it really helps with the kind of YouTube algorithm kind of games and stuff. So. I hate it too, but please help me out here. And if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube, join my Guitar Academy. You're going to see a link to it in the description below. Um, that link will give you a free seven day trial too to my Academy. Now my Academy contains all of my guitar courses. You get full access to all my courses just with one membership. Um, you, we have courses from, for complete beginners to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, and theory. Uh, I go live every Saturday just with Academy members, like a live video chat with me. Um, so that's really fun every Saturday morning. Um, and you get personalized support from me beyond that as well. So please come check it out. I'll see you there. All right, so let's jump in the track. I am uh, in standard tuning here. And we're going to start, like I said, this is the tribute album version, the live version. Um, so we're going to go through all everything, all the fills, solo, everything. So there's a lot. And when he does live stuff, he's always adding little things all over the place. So we got to kind of look at every verse and chorus individually. So the intro, pretty straightforward with the main <laughs> riff. So we're going to start with this uh, kind of a bend at the low E string of the third fret. Kind of a slow bend into the E power chord there. And then we have the actual rhythm. So that's a pull off from 5 to 4 to 2 on the D. Then play 4 2 again. And then 3 0 on the A string. From there, you just go to the D major, hit that a couple times, and then it goes to a G power chord. Now, this G power chord is basically just uh, a, like a G major chord, except you no know, nothing on the A string. Just mute that A string at the bottom of your uh, uh, your middle finger. So, and then you're gonna hit that low note again us back to the A to, to repeat the riffs. Wait, this. Third time through, he adds a little bend. So after the little, so the third time through the riff, he does the pull off from five to four to two. Then go over to the third fret there. I'm mean, sorry, the G string at the fourth fret. Get some pulse that bend. Couple of them. Release that bend. Pull off to two. Then over four on the D. And then back to the D and the G again. So it is. So that's three times through the riff, and that little bend was on the third time through. And then we had this little kind of really transition riff, I, I call it. All 
All right, so it goes down to uh, an E major chord. And then that third fret there on the low E string again. So an A power chord. Back down to the third fret on the low E. Back down to the E. Sometimes you hear the third when it goes to the E. Sometimes it's just a power chord. Or just like the power chord with the G string unit. But a lot of times it's just the full E major. And then this first time you hear it, he comes up here and grabs the 15th fret there on the A. Pull off to 14, and just slide down. You can do it up here too if you want, but there's no visual evidence of where he's doing those notes. Just do it there as well. Just keep it on the low E strings. And then do the D, G, back to the D. And that takes us into the first verse, and there's a little. There's a little. Uh, Open A string, then three, four on the A. Kind of uh, mute palm mute. And that actually start is kind of really this the lead into the verse. So the verse kind of the verse riffs are the hardest sections rhythm wise because they move around quite a bit. Um, it's just I guess it's hardest to, to memorize them. So the first verse looks like this. So we're going to start here with that, that zero, 3, 4 on the A string. And then it goes to one of those big A power chords where the kind of, you're kind of barring up here on the top two strings. So you have the open A string and then the second part across the D and the G. And then you're going to bar where you can play like that. Uh, the fifth fret on the B and the high E. Then we have, so if you do kind of, kind of chugging that riff a little bit, kind of going back and forth between that and the open A string. Then just go two, three, four on the D string. And then we go to this D sus four chord, which is just a regular D major chord, but add the, change that note on the top E string with your pinky to the third fret. Sus4, then back down to the D, and then back up. So. And then back to that A chord. Then. So have that. Suck it on that A chord a little bit again. You do it. Two, four, five on the D. And you pick that five a couple times. So what happens here, you hear the early stars are kind of moving around here, uh, doing a little descending line. So we have this. So we'll vary this a little, couple times in a song. So we start here, and you, and you grab that third fret on the low E string, just heavily palm muted real quick, real quick. And then you're gonna jump up and grab these double stops. So this is the seventh fret across the D and the uh, I'm sorry, the, the D note, F sharp, but we have the, uh, between the G and the B strings. So you take that, slide that down to press the fifth fret, both of those. And then you're gonna add the seventh fret there on the high E string, then down to just fives across the, the top three strings, and then back, add the seven on the high E string. All right, so uh, you kind of go into that. 
and then we're back to kind of goes into like a little blues thing. So that's on the A power chord. And then you can add there on, on to keep the open A string there to get up. The fourth fret there on the uh, D string. Do that a couple times then. Then that's the and there. Three, two, zero. Go down the E power chord if you want. Then that third fret of the low E string to get back to the A chord, which starts the chorus again. Uh, so I'll get for that first verse real quick. So then we uh, we get to the chorus. So this chorus is like the opening riff that we did. Um, uh, we're basically gonna where he throws the bends in or little fills he throws in or the things are gonna be different. So it looks like this. <laughs> So that, um, start with the A chord, so the same rhythm. So just normal, no fills. The second time through, we do the fill with the, the bend in it. So when we did the intro, that was the third time through the riff. It's the second time through the riff in that first chord. Third time through the riff, we do this. So it's kind of just a little variation. Just a four two, and then so basically instead of doing that, right here the last two notes are going to be four on the D, back to two on the G, and then back to the same. The same inning. Three slot there, and then D, G, D. And then a little five, six, five, six on the G string. And that takes us back to the verse. Now, verse number two is slightly different. Looks like this. chorus there. So that's pretty close, except when we start, instead of we're up here instead. So he's going to be playing the seventh fret there on the D and the G. You hit the open A with it. And hit those two double stops. Then move the note on the G string down to the fifth fret. Then the open A again. again with the fifth fret on the G and then move it back to the double stops on them both at the sevens. And then from there it's pretty similar that little chromatically. So from there, it was just the very beginning of verse two is the only kind of difference from verse one. Uh, so that helps us out a little bit. And then we get to the chorus again. Now this chorus is, uh, this second time through the chorus is pretty much like the intro where that bend is on the third time through, so just to review. <laughs> And 
after the second chorus there, we're, we are at the solo. So let me play through the solo for you real quick and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. So that one is fun, a lot better than playing a slide guitar solo, I think. So let's take a look at this. We're gonna start here with a little bit. That note, just really, really quick. So it's not really in the key, but whatever. So it's a quick little 16th fret on the high E string and then into a bend at the 18th fret on the B string, a whole step. And then he's gonna jump up here and start like this first phrase. So it's kind of like. So what is that phrase? You're gonna play 17 on the high E string over to 20 on the B and back to that 17. Hammer on 20, pull back off to 70. And then we're gonna start going to cross strings a little bit. Over to 20 on the, the B, back to the 17 on the high E, and then back to the 20 on the B. From there, we're gonna go over down to the 17th fret on the B. So that's gonna be 17 on the B to 20 on the G. And then, I'm gonna do that a couple times. So when, you, when you're done with the second time through doing that, you're just gonna pull off to 19, then down to 17. Then hammer back on to the 19th fret there on the G. And then play 17 on the B and then roll to the 17 on the high E string. Little blues lick there. So we have this. All right, from there, we're gonna finish this first phrase. So that's gonna play 19 to 17 twice on the G string. Then 19, 17 on the D. And then 19, 17 on the A. Then when you play that 17 on the E, slide it down to 16. And then play 19 on the D. We have that little phrase coming after it, which, which is a half step bend. So it's a bend it up a half step, then pick it without the bend. So it's kind of a series of bend, no bend, bend, no bend, half step bend. And then do a kind of a long half step bend. And then the 17th fret on the high E string to 20 on the B twice. So all together from that from the beginning of the solo. All right, so the next phrase looks like this. So I'll kind of stop there because we have a, another quick little descending thing that happens after. So, so after you're at that, the second time playing that and you're, you're still hanging out on the 20th fret, you start doing a series of bending here on the 20th fret there, and then picking the 17th fret a couple of times on the high E string, and then pulling off 20 to 17. So 
So you do that like a three or four times. And then you go into a full side bend at the 20th fret. So, I'm sorry. The last time, when you do the pull off from 20 to 17, also pull off 20 to 17 on the beat before you do the, the bend at the 20th fret on the high E string. So it, All right, so now we have this uh, kind of descending phrase, which is really, really quick. Looks like this. So, um, we're gonna start, so after that bend, at the 20th fret of the high E string, you're gonna go 17 on the high E and 20 on the B twice again. go all the way down to the 17th on the B. And then uh, kind of just like, like a lot of little blues licks here. So that's gonna be a whole step bend at the 19th right there on the G. Over to the 17th on the B, the 20th fret on the B. And then another bend at the 19th fret of there on the G. Then play 17 on the B. Then back to 19 on the G without the bend. And then we have this. So that's after you're here at the 19 on the G, you go, go down to. The 17 on the, so this is kind of palming, like that, really quick. So we have this, so we have 17 on the G to 19 on the D, then roll over to 19 on the G, back to that 19 on the D. Then back to 17 on the G, and uh, down to that 19 on the D. Then we're gonna play 17 on the D, 19 on the A, then hammer on 17 to 19 on the D, coming back up. And then we're gonna play 17 on the G, 19 on the D, 17 on the G. So we have this. And then you're gonna go to a half step bend again here at the 19th fret on the high E string. Kind of bend it up a couple times. And then play it without the bend. From there we go into this. So that's a step and a half bend at the, the at the 17th fret there on the B string. So you want it to sound like that note. Now you can hear on the recording he hit some pinch harmonics here, so he's really digging in. So do that bend and then go 17, 16, 15 on the B string. And he's here's some pictures of the notes kind of sound kind of crazy. It's, he's hitting pinch harmonics on. So it goes 17, 16, 15, and then 17, 15 on the B. And then 17, 14 on the G, and then he does that again real quick. Can just do a pull off. And then he's gonna end, this, this last little lick is just a... So, you can just think of these as just, just, he's going down the pentatonic. Just a, the A minor pentatonic. Um, just the little trills on each string. This is kind of easy way to look at looks like this. So that's just, you know, a uh, trill between 17 and 20. And then on the B string, same thing. And then 
15, 17, and 19 on the G. And when you get down to the A string, bend up that 19th fret. Then he's going to hit the open A string, and then uh, 17, 18 on the, the G to end the solo. So, a lot of uh, really cool like bluesy licks in there. Played at hyper speed and uh, made played the Randy way, which is really really fun. All right, so coming out of the solo, we have verse number three. Another slight variation from the previous verse number two. Not much different. Looks like this. So that was the big difference there uh, was we started the same way as we did uh, verse number two. Like that, this little double stop stuff here. And then when it did the chromatic line, two, three, four, instead of going, he just kind of hung out here and did more double stop. Like that, which was just between four and two, four on the D and the G, and then back to the twos on the D and the G, and then back to the four. So, and then we're back to the regular A chord, the same part. And then here, we're gonna different there too when we go up to that those double stops up there he's gonna start at the fifth fret plus the b and the g slot up to seven back down to five the rest of it's the same and then so from there that's the same here and then we pretty much have the same chorus again it just has a little different ending at the little, little lick that happens at the end of the chorus that's going to uh, take us into the outro section. So uh, so this chorus, it's this little lick here, it looks like this. thing right there at the very end of the chorus that takes us into the outro, really the outro chorus, which is this kind of this long extended section, which is going to be the longest thing to kind of, really the, the longest to memorize, because he's just adding so much cool stuff to it. But I'll break it down for you so we memorize it pretty quick. But that little lick that leads us into this section is 5-6 on the G, then 7-5 on the D, and then 5-4 on the A. All right, now we get to the outro section. Um, like I said, if you've heard this live version, it just kind of goes off and they really, really, really build it up a lot and stuff. And he's adding fills all over the place. So uh, I'm gonna try to make sense of all this for you and categorize everything and so you can kind of get through it. But let me play through it for you real quick. So here we go. <laughs>
right, so that's a long little ending section there, but uh, a lot of cool stuff in it. So the first, when we first start this outro section, we're gonna start this kind of just a basic version of the, the harmony. Um, play it six times. So that's that big A chord. Kind of hit a couple times and in between. And then you're gonna come back and grab the fourth fret there on the A string real quick. It's a little passing note. And then you're gonna grab the D chord to the G. So you do just that, exactly like that, six times. Six times of that, we jump up and do this. So that's gonna be here, um, uh, but we're gonna put this D major triad up here to an A and back to the D. So what you're gonna do, bar the 15th, I'm oh, sorry, the 14th fret across the B, G, and the D string. All right, and then in front of that, you can play the 15th fret on the B and then the 16th fret there on the D. So you have those notes right there. That's, so what you have there is a D major chord. Hit those three notes uh, twice. Then lift up those two notes and now you just have an A chord. And then back to the D. And then we have an open D string. One, two, three, four. And then from there, just go to a D chord first. On that first, before we went to the sus first, we start the D, then to the sus four, and back to the D. So we get this. And then repeat that again. Alright, and then we have kind of the um, kind of where, where the A chord is at. He's doing little fills here. So uh, looks like this. So that little lick right there, so coming out of we have this. Which is kind of palm muted there. We have five, six on the G. And then seven, five there on the D, then back to the seven. Then five, four, zero, the A string. And then we have just the D and the G again. From there, we're gonna jump up here. So double stops here at the fifth fret across the B and the, the, the G. We play them four. We just hit them twice. Over to the seventh fret there on the D. And then roll over and grab the double stops at the seventh fret across the G and the B. And then hit the open D and G string. Into that same D, G ending. So. All right, from there, another variation on this little chorus riff. So it just keeps adding stuff to it. So these two, just kind of just a standard uh, A power chord. And then, which is, now these are kind of palm muted, three, four on the A. These two don't do P uh, palm muted. So two, zero on the G. And then four two on the D. And you get once again with the D and the G. And then the next group of fills. So another A power chord there. 
And then kind of a slower. We were doing this pull off before we did it quicker, but now it's slower. Just a five pull off the four to two. Then hammer three to four on the A string. And they open A. Just like that. And then to the D and G and D again. So let me uh, kind of play through from this. That section here, so you just kind of can see all these put together here. At this point, everything starts kind of picking up. You can see the intensity start picking up. They're starting to build it a little bit. And when this happens, he goes back to that big A power chord. And some harmonics there. So this little section looks like this real quick. This kind of two times through. So that's that chord kind of. And then we have a three on the A string to the open D string. And when you hit that open D, you can transition up and you're going to play some uh, harmonics real quick. And it's this, the harmonics from the seventh fret on the D across to the G to the B. D, G, B. And then reverse that, but at the twelfth fret. So B, G, D. That's what it is. to that A power chord. Just pull the D to G. It's pretty simple. So. Now, here we start getting real intense with it. So that's just that kind of kind of 16th note on the A string. Got a palm meter to kind of control them. To end of the D and G and this should be And then we kind of had the same ending that we did before in the chorus. Another one of those uh, fills is kind of like you, we ended the first solo a little bit. So you want to think of this once again going across the the um, A melodic, I'm uh, oh, sorry, a uh, pen minor pentatonic scale. So a hammer on between uh, 17 and uh, 20, and on the high E and the B, and then 17 and 19. Um, on the G, D, and the A. So he's kind of just doing that to start. Then he goes back to the D string. I can kind of do trills all the way down to the A string. Go back to the D and play 1917. And then he does it. We'll try to do another, another little bluesy thing. So he's going to. Play this, that's the 17th fret on the D, 18th on the G. Pick those again. Just kind of slide them down the fret and back up again. Just does it a couple times. A few times. And then end it with the A power chord. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the live versions of Randy's uh, music. Um, so this is such a fun song to play. Just kind of such a cool, fun, just... You can't help but have a smile on your face when you're playing this riff. So, um, and then everything else he does, the the all the fills and stuff, just really kind of take it over the top. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.